chemicals in sunscreen may cause birth defects, infertility. I would like to thank one of my subscribers, JG, for sending this story, October 6, 2018. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost like every week they got a new reason for their infertility or their low sperm count or the reason why they're not reproducing. You know, it was the plastics. Okay, oh, they choose not to have children right now. It is the opioids. It's it's everything, okay? Now it's the sunscreen. The sunscreen is the reason for their infertility. It changes every week. So let's get into this story. In the study, the team from the Hong Kong Baptist University found that chemicals in sunscreen cause abnormalities in zebrafish and killed their offspring. Now you may ask why zebrafish? Because it's in their genetics. It's not in ours. You know, we, you can test us. We don't have any primate and we certainly don't have any zebrafish and dogs and whatever else is floating around. So after human use, the organic or chemical ultraviolet filters in sunscreen are discharged into the sea, either directly by being washed off with seawater or indirectly through discharge of wastewater. Eventually, they enter the sea, thereby posing a threat to marine organisms and the ecosystem. These UV filters could possibly pass up the food chain to humans and affect our health, the researchers say. UV light increases the risk of premature skin aging, freckles, and triggers skin cancer. Organic or chemical UV filters that can absorb or block UV radiation are extensively applied in personal care products, including sunscreens. So that's what this um, researcher is saying. So they're saying since more than 70% of the genetic structure of zebra fish resembles that of humans, really that of Asians and white people, it don't resemble our DNA black people, you know. And we are not the ones that are in bad need of sunscreen. Now, they're trying to say it is the chemicals in the sunscreen that's causing the low birth rate. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, see, this is why we won't touch that stuff, okay? Now, I have been around white people that will even say even black people should wear sunscreen. No, no, we should not. Okay, first of all, if we see that sunscreen is not working for you, why would we buy that stuff and put it on? I, I have seen white people put sunscreen on and they're still walking around flaming red in the summer. Or they put on sunscreen and they still get a second degree burn with pus balls. Now, if we see it's clearly not working for you, why would we buy that stuff and put it on ourselves? I'm not buying that stuff. You know, if you want someone to buy your products, at least show that the product works. Okay, we know sunscreen don't work. And not only that, it has been many, many written articles and, and things written into journals saying that sunscreen, damn near all the sunscreen on the shelf, in fact, all of it is toxic. If it's toxic, why would we put it on as black people? I ain't putting no toxic stuff on your shelves on my skin. No, no, don't ever buy that and put it on, black people. <laughs> don't put nothing toxic on your skin. Sunscreens are all toxic, and you can look this up yourself. If it's toxic, why would you buy it and put it on your children or yourself? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. 
Okay, so they're saying in their study, they had found that um, when they fed a zebrafish with these aquatic animals, they, you know, you know, whatever zebrafish feed on, they gave it to them for 47 days. And these creatures had the same type of compounds that the sunscreen had. Okay. After 47 days of doing this, none of the adult zebrafish appeared to be damaged, but several of their embryos were found to have malformations and abnormalities. The embryo uh, 24-hour mortality rate increased dramatically from 10% to nearly 60%, while over a 72-hour period, hatching rate decreased significantly um, from 80% to less than 30% of the embryos hatched. So they are trying to call for regulations to cover the use of chemicals and personal care products that contain sunscreen. You know, even makeup contains sunscreen. You know, it'll tell you what the PF balance is in it. Um, lotions, you know, they're trying to put it in all these different products. And more research should be done on the long-term impact of these contaminants. He recommends the usage of natural, mineral-based sunscreen. So there you have it. They're now saying the sunscreen may be causing birth defects and infertility in the people that are using it. I tell you what. I'm glad to be melanated, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.